Ladies and gentlemen, for professional wrestling fans around the world, I come to you with breaking news in this simple update as AEW Dynamite has really changed tonight regarding some circumstances that have fallen the roster. First off, the six-man tag that threw in the AEW World Championship match at the anniversary show, it has officially been canceled due to the fact that apparently Lance Archer, he has been tested positive for COVID-19. He sent out the following statement, or tweet, I should say, uh, earlier in the day here. Let me see if I can uh, find it here for you. Regarding a friend and... <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice here. <laughs> All right, there we go. He sent out the following. When I returned from our last show, a family member was ill when I got home. I found out later a friend who had taken my family member to the vet for our dashing was COVID positive. While at home, I have gotten sick tested positive. I feel okay. Expect to see me in two weeks. The Murder Hawk Lance Archer will not be back tonight, but the countdown continues to, well, simply where everybody dies. But with that being said, John Moxley, he's like, screw it. I'm just putting on the towel for the line night. So here we go. We have an AEW World Heavyweight Championship match, and of all opponents to face him, the one that's been bragging about he should be the rightful number one contender, he gets his opportunity, and Tony Khan supports it. It's made official. Tonight we have John Moxley defending the AEW title against Eddie Kingston, who, of course, was never eliminated properly from the Casino Battle Royale at AEW All Out. Now, both these men are going to duke it out. There's no doubt Eddie Kingston, he's going to bring a real hard fight as Moxley was ready for war tonight. Moxley better be prepared for anything because we know Eddie Kingston, he does not travel alone. This has been his plan. Will it kind of fruition tonight? I don't think so. Personally, I think John Moxley's going to retain because I still see John Moxley with Unsatcha having the anniversary show. As far as what's going to happen to Will Hobbs, Darby Allen, and Ricky Starks, and uh, da -da 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 Brian Cage, maybe the two have a two on two, but nothing's been made official. In additional news, Miro, Happy Miro Day, will be doing his in ring AEW debut, tagging with Kip Saban, the best man and the super bad man. They will take on the bad boy. And the concrete roll. Sonny Kiss, Joy Nell will take on Miro and Kip Sabian in a nice tag team bout. And I feel that Miro's going to win here. It'll be interesting to see what he brings to the ring. Because he's been working out like a mammoth as we saw last week. And besides that, that's all we know. The women's tag match is still on. As well as the TNT time match. Where I still don't know truly what's going to Orange Cassidy's going to bring. But I think you know who I'm going with. Join the Dark Order. That's all I have to say for now. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy AW Dynamite tonight, regardless of the circumstances. If you haven't already, please check out the clips from Light Night Dynamite. Those three matches were incredible. Ben Carter, Scorbo Sky put on a clinic. Anna J, Brandy. Brandy's gotten better. Pretty good women's match. Anna J won. She slayed her. Good thing. Join the Dark Order. And uh, it's Matt Seidel and. Uh, <clears throat> Sean Spears had a great main event. In the end, that glove came to be the difference maker and gave him the win, but Scorbro Sky came out to send his friend. We might be getting a Scorbro Sky versus Sean Spears match very soon. With that being said, that's all I have for now. Thanks for tuning in. Please support wrestling. Support Team No DQ. Support Rest of Joy. Support Wrestling Alice Big and Small. You know what I'm about. Let's keep growing this wrestling community together. Simple as that. Be sweet. Be safe. Be smart. Stay elite. Have a wonderful evening. And enjoy AEW Dynamite.